for Galvin, he got a whole lot of talent Say he grew up in the islands, know how to roll with his tongue Genius for Dylan, he doesn't stop till I feel it That's why I call him policemen, he come around and I run It's for Eric, you love when I share it Let's talk about Frankie, I love when he spank me You know what I'm on Cheers for Gerald, I'm at Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another episode of Keeping Up With Coco. If you are new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on your post notifications, and follow me on Instagram at Birkin Coco. You know how to spell Birkin, and you know how to spell Coco. Once I get to 50K subscribers, I am giving away some money, so be sure to subscribe to my channel, have your post notifications turned on, and follow me on Instagram at Birkin Coco. The girls who would like extra tips on how to level up, date older men, um, communicate with me on the phone, one on one, or have specific questions that you would like to ask me, do follow me on Patreon. The link is down in the description. As you can tell from the title of this video, I am doing a morning routine. This is how I get my day started every day. I wake up, I take a nice shower, I do my facial routine, I brush my teeth, and I just get my day started every morning so I feel refreshed and I am ready to conquer the day. So let's get into this video. To start my mornings, I usually start by taking a nice hot shower. I wanted to show you guys these things that I got from Amazon to organize my bathroom and it came out so cute. As for my body wash, I use this Hermes body wash. I specifically got this one on my way back from Morocco when we had a layover in Paris. I use a loofah to scrub my body and to make sure that I'm getting all that excess oil and all that, you know, sweat or whatever, dirt, whatever you want to call it. Ladies, I know I don't have to tell you guys this, but I hope we are using a hand towel, a loofah, or a sponge to properly wash ourselves every day or at least four or five times out of the week, okay? Um, this is just really important. After that, I go in with a scrub, a body scrub, an exfoliator if you are dealing with like back issues, hyperpigmentation in your back. Getting a body scrub is very important. It just helps get deep into your skin and take out all of that extra dirt or sweat that's lingering around. After that, I rinse my body. And then, because my guy, he likes feet, <laughs> I use this pumice stone to scrub my feet, okay? This is how I keep my feet nice and soft, nice and cute and suckable, okay, for my boyfriend. And I love wearing heels, so you have to do this to make sure that your feet are cute when you're wearing heels. When I'm done, I dry myself off with a towel, then I switch into my robe. I got this robe from Amazon. It's called the Waffle Robe. If anyone is interested, it's very inexpensive, but super cute. Then I get into doing my face. I use a facial exfoliator every morning. This one specifically deals with blackheads, which is something that I dealt with in the past. When I'm done exfoliating my face, I then rinse my face with cold water. Ladies, I cannot express this enough. Rinse your face with cold water because it closes your pores. Then I brush my teeth. I brush my teeth every morning. And I brush my teeth every night. If you guys want to see a nighttime routine, let me know. Then I proceed to dry my face with this facial paper towel. Ladies, we are not using our body towels to dry our faces anymore. We are using facial paper towels because they're disposable and they do not hold on to bacteria. Then it's time to get into the facial products. I start with my toner from Mario Badescu. It's a witch hazel and rose water toner. Then I go in with my drunk elephant retinol cream. Ladies, ladies, if you deal with hormonal acne, please use retinol cream, okay? This is what has literally changed my life. I do not get hormonal acne anymore, ever, okay, ever. Then I go in with my vitamin C serum. This is from Sunday Riley. Also another product that I absolutely live for, okay? It has completely changed my life. If you deal with hyperpigmentation, if you deal with acne scars, Vitamin C, ladies. I literally cannot stress this enough. These two products have changed my life. If you deal with hormonal acne or hyperpigmentation or, you know, acne scars, 
please use a retinol cream and use vitamin C. Then I go in with my moisturizer. This moisturizer is from St. Jane and it also contains retinol in it. Technically, you're supposed to use this at night. As you can see, I've used a whole lot of it. And I use it during the day as well. Um, if I'm not going anywhere, if I'm just gonna be around the house, then I'll just use it as well. It also contains retinol. Like I said, retinol helps prevent hormonal acne. And then I go in with the Sunday Riley, uh, another vitamin C serum, but this one is actually an oil. So this just helps add on to what I'm putting on my skin to prevent you know, hyperpigmentation and acne scars. And it just gives you an extra glow. When I'm done with my face, I then move on to my hair. If I'm staying around the house, I don't take the bandana off, I just keep it on. But I brush my hair, as you guys know, I got this hair from Kendra's Boutique. And then I do my lips. I just use regular lip gloss on my lips. Um, I should start doing an exfoliator for my lips. And my lips has been getting better because I no longer really smoke like I used to smoke. So the color of my lips has been coming back. So I love that for me. Uh, but I wanted to show you guys the final products. I'm crazy. I'm always doing something silly. But I wanted you guys to look at my skin. I mean, if you go back to videos from two, three years ago, and obviously I'm not saying my skin is perfect, but compared to what it was literally, I'm even gonna say just about a year ago, my skin has done a complete 360. Like, come on now, it looks good, right? Or is it just me? Cause it looks good. <laughs> I think it looks good, right? So imagine once I get a chemical pill and all of that stuff, which is something that I am looking forward to doing in a few weeks when I come back from my trip, but my skin looks amazing. Like, if I must say so myself, my skin looks great. It looks amazing. And it's because I've been using these products, I've been using retinol, I've been using a vitamin C. So I do usually use a sunscreen every day before I leave the house, but I did run out of my black girl sunscreen for all the ladies who are, you know, black and can't find good sunscreen, use black girl sunscreen. Okay, one of you guys had recommended it to me and I tried it and it is amazing. You can find it at Target and you can find it on Amazon. I then brush my eyebrows, by the way, before anyone asks, I did get my eyebrows microbladed about two years ago. I got them really, really dark, so I haven't had to go back for a touch-up, but that was literally one of the best decisions I ever made in my life because if you saw my eyebrows before, girl. Then it's time to pick an outfit. I usually have to do a little dance with my dog, entertain her, because when I'm filming, she gets agitated with me because I'm not paying her any attention. Then I have to pick out an outfit, which sometimes stresses me out. But here we go. I decided that I'm just gonna do something casual today because I'm really not leaving the house, okay? I did this for this video. So I got these joggers from Lululemon. They're very cute. They're a little too fitted than what I actually wanted my joggers to look like, but they're still very cute, so I'm keeping them. Then I wore this top that I got from Dick's Sporting Goods. Now, I used to go to Dick's all the time, but I have not been there in a very long time, and that shirt came out really cute. Once I realized that I was cute enough, I decided to go into my kitchen and get my Fiji water. Now, can I just say this? The secret to amazing skin and having good skin is not only the products, but also drinking water. You have to stay hydrated, okay? I stay hydrated and run my business every time. I don't drink sodas, I don't drink juices, I only drink water and alcohol. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments below what are some of your favorite things to do in the morning. I did skip out a few steps that I obviously i felt like i should have put in there and just to kind of like a disclaimer before someone says it i did put on deodorant and i do moisturize my body okay you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys on my next video bye